So at this point, we're wrapping up uh, Canyonlands. We did a little bit of exploring here. It was great, but uh, it's hot. Uh, right now, uh, 32 degrees Celsius. And it is, uh, what time do we have here? 3.30 almost. So it's uh, sc scorching hot. I'm riding in my uh, t-shirt and uh, what's up next uh, today we will head out on Potash Road that heads out from uh, here from Canyonlands down to Moab and uh, once we get to Moab we're gonna do stock up a little bit of groceries for the night and tomorrow is the big day it's a white rim trail uh, that's down uh, in a canyon here. I keep on mentioning this uh, as it was a plan that we're supposed to do today. Unfortunately, uh, just to get a permit, it took us uh, almost an uh, hour and 45 minutes at the information center. Uh, that's, uh, the processing is kind of slow. Uh, I don't know if the guy was new or what's going on, but it was taking him forever to register five motorcycles. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, a couple of things you need to know here. When you enter Utah, number one, you're gonna need a, a park pass uh, for all the parks. The, the best bet is uh, get a seasonal pass and that covers two bikes for $80 and you have uh, access to all the national parks in the United States. Second option, is uh, you can pay $25 uh, American for each bike and that gets you seven days permit but uh, what the lady said at the ranger station that's only for seven days stopped to refill the water and we're entering the Shaffer trail now the fun begins at this moment
Bravo Vida! <laughs> that was great. And that's a Colorado River, right? Eh? That's very rough. But it's a blast. That must be the potash mining or something because since it's a potash road, I think that's what it is. It looks pretty cool actually. All right, guys, so that's the conclusion for the day. We just had a <laughs> shower and swim in this river. We're not sure if it's a Green River yet or Colorado River. I've got to check out the map. And uh, 
we had a blast on a potash road uh, going from Canyonland to Moab and other than that this is it for today just gonna go out to town have a beer and call it a night thank you for watching if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button comment down below and subscribe take care and until the next one Two roads follow the Colorado River either side of Moab, both passing through spectacular red rock landscapes. The eastern route, Highway 128, is a well-traveled highway leading eventually to I-70, while the west route, Highway 279 Potash Road, also known as the Potash Lower Colorado River Scenic Byway, it is much less busy running alongside of Colorado through a deeping shear-walled Wingate Sandstone Canyon for 15 miles, as far as active mining center of Potash. From here, the road becomes a four-wheel drive track, crosses Shaffer Basin and ascends into island in the sky district of Canyonlands National Park through more scenic terrain, but the paved section has plenty to see including sandstone arches, petroglyphs, dinosaur footprints, narrow side canyons, sheer cliffs popular for rock climbing. And the river itself, which follows right to the next to the road through a thin corridor of trees and bushes. <laughs> 